threat detection and response has become increasingly challenging for security teams. With the threat landscape growing bigger, the attack service getting wider, and the attack themselves becoming more and more sophisticated, cybersecurity has become complex and difficult to implement. Some organizations deal with this at a granular level, trying to get the best available security solution for each layer of security, thinking that as long as they get the product with the best review for a specific layer is enough to secure their environment. Little do they know that serious threats continue to avoid detection because the data that is supposed to be critical in detection and response is not properly collected and analyzed because they are trapped in silos. Join us as we take a look at the current state of threat detection and response. Let's see what the challenges are, what solutions are needed, and how the efficiency and effectiveness of detection and response is improved through Trend Micro XDR. A traditional method for detection and response is SIEMS. This method is known to be expensive to own and operate. While there are cloud-native SIEM tools with unlimited data and analytics processing, they still lack the context needed to accelerate the speed of detection and response times. SIEM systems also lack machine learning-based correlation and analysis capabilities leaving this effort to the already overworked Security Operations Center analysts. To fill this gap, organizations have turned to endpoint detection and response, also known as EDR systems. Unfortunately, the use of EDR tools alone for investigating threats and hunting for not yet identified threats aren't enough for most security teams. EDR alone is simply not enough to empower security pros to detect, investigate and respond to attacks at the pace they need to keep up with modern attackers. For a good detection and response solution to work, a broader approach is needed. But first, let's try to understand why threat detection and response is more difficult today than it was in the past. Back in 2018, Enterprise Strategy Group conducted a research that aimed to better understand the current state of threat detection and response. 45% of respondents said that threat detection and response is much more difficult today than it was two years ago, and 31% said it is somewhat more difficult. Respondents point to the increasing volume and or sophistication of threats and growing attack surfaces as causes for this increasing difficulty. Furthermore, 82% of respondents agreed that improving threat detection and response is a high priority for their organization. As attackers move laterally within the network in an effort to escalate privileges, the need to understand attackers' entry points, patterns of movement, discovery, and individual behaviors reinforces the requirement to aggregate telemetry from multiple threat vectors. Network traffic analysis tools have become important in helping analysts look for lateral movement, but without correlation and endpoint activity, it can be difficult to understand the full details of an attack. Many organizations are post-processing EDR and NTA data in an attempt to stitch together attack details. Yet even with EDR solutions in place, security teams continue to struggle to keep up. While most teams are depending on multiple independent tools, ESG research shows that 66% of respondents believe that their TDR effectiveness is limited because it is based on multiple independent point tools. This means that despite the tools in place, teams still aren't leveraging them to their full capacity. This is the current detection and response landscape. For the next part, we will be discussing the different challenges encountered with the traditional solutions. Make sure to watch the remaining parts of this episode to fully understand the importance of Trend Micro's managed XDR solution.